Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back again to another session of one question a day. The question that we are going to see is periodontal ligament ASA question. A lot of time this question occurs as a part of or occurs in many combination and being frequently asked in the exams, university, various university exams. So very important questions. So we will see what are the best possible uh, question combinations and we have put up a, a wholesome point of view of this question and I'll give you two candidates answer how they have to return for the same question the same nearly the same content but in differences in the way of presentations you can appreciate and you can adapt to or develop your own kind of presentations periodontium periodontium refers to the connective tissue which connects the tooth to the alveolar bone simple definition it's a connective tissue which connects the tooth to alveolar of bone and made up of four basic tissue that is cementum alveolar bone lining the socket that is two heart tissues periodontal ligament and dento gingival junction or the gingiva so a diagram showing all this next periodontal space is between the alveolar bone and cementum it's and filled by periodontal ligament, periodontal space, periodontal ligament. It, introducing all the terms, the width of the periodontal ligament is about 0.5 mm to 0.38 mm. Thinner in the middle part of the tooth and wider in the coronal and apical area gives a hourglass appearance of the PDL overall. The thickness in young adult is about 0.2 millimeter on an average, mature adult 0.18, old age 0.5, and it is decreasing with age. Other names, periodontal membrane, very cementum, alveolar ligament, Dental periosteum, gum forces, desmodont, all things. Compost, it's made up of cells and extracellular matrix. Cells are the synthetic cells, resorptive cells, progenitor cells, cell rest of malaises, defense cells. The fibers are collagen, elastic, reticular, secondary, indifferent. Ground substance include proteoglycans, glycoproteins, proteins, and most importantly, the mist one is water. Water is an essential component. Synthetic cells that produces the matrix on which all the cellular elements are present. They are the osteoblast secreting responsible for the bone form forming fibroblast responsible for the collagen fibers forming cementoblast that secretes cementum. The resorptive cells are the osteoclast, large multinucleated cells, giant cells, multinucleated with numerous nuclei, has a ruffle border. Uh, that seals that seats itself in the bone to be resolved. They have numerous Golgi apparatus, large vesicular nucleus, abundant cytoplasm, metoclin stain with multiple nucleus. This is a odento, uh, sorry, osteoblast. Fibroblasts are elongated spindle cells, vacuole present adjacent to which is called, and they may be uh, involved in destruction of this. Uh, fibroblast as collagen. Hmm? It helps in the resorption of collagen fibers. Symptoblast, symptoclast are multinucleated cells with ruffle border only rarely seen in pathological condition. Progenitor cells are associated with blood cells, pericytes, and they have the capacity to undergo division and form a part of the dental stem cells, periodontal stem cells. Different cells are mast cells, macrophages, eosinophils, and lymphocytes. Cell rests of malaises or epithelial cell rest, remnants of epithelial Hertwig root sheath during the formation of symptom, HERS breaks. Some of them persist in the PDL, periodontal ligament as cell rests of malaises and can give rise to cyst or tumors at any time in the future. They are often seen in children than in adults. In 20, till 20 years, they are usually restricted to apical, after which they see seen everywhere from coronal to apical region. The extracellular matrix, the fibers are collagen fibers, constitute the principal fibers of periodontal ligament with ranging diameter of 45 to 55 nanometers with a high turnover rate. They have two types, type 1, about 70 percentage, type 3, 20 percentage. They have alpha 1, alpha 2 chains, whereas type 3 has three alpha chains. Here there is reduced level of hydroxylysine, here high level high levels of hydroxyproline. Structurally, type 3 is linked to type 1 and remaining 10 percentage is type 5, 6, 4, all and 12, 
uh, sorry 13 is the only type seen in fully functional pdl not in others so this is a marker of fully functional pdls they are arranged in five groups alveolar crest groups horizontal group oblique group apical group interradicular group the alveolar crest group extends from the cementum just beneath the junctional epithelium to the alveolar crest and resists the tilting intrusive or extrusive forces the horizontal group runs horizontally to the long axis of the tooth just below the alveolar crest group parallel to occlusal plane and they resist horizontal forces oblique group most numerous of all the pdl contributing to two-third of pdl they run obliquely at alveolar bone they are more coronal and cementum they are more apical they resist the vertical forces and intrusive forces apical group present in the apical area anchored into the fundus of the bony socket not present in incompletely formed roots only found in the mature root with periapical region periapical foramen they resist from the loosening of the tooth interradical interradicular group is present between two roots and it is often lost with age their function is to resist torque and luxation forces so each one of them has its own responsibilities and role. Sharpies fibers in PDL space, collagen fibers embedded in cementum on one side and bone on the other side is called as Sharpies fibers. They're more numerous on the cementum side than bone and also extension of embedding is less in cementum. They undergo calcification in acellular eccentric fiber, fibrillar cementum and mineralized only in the periphery in the cellular intrinsic fibers cementum. Transalveolar fibers are few sharpies fibers that pass uninterrupted through the bone between two teeth, only seen in the interradicular bone. If Havasian canals happens to cross, the fibers do not cross the entire thickness but partly run. Intermediate plexus fibers form, principal fibers form a wavy cross from cementum to bone and join in the mid region. This area has high metabolic activity and people believe that it's an illusion and not a real structure. The other fibers are elastic fibers, which could be mature elastin, immature elavin, and oxytalin. Elastic fibers are often present in the blood, blood vessel walls in the PDL as spindle-shaped structures. Elavin fibers are seen in the gingival ligament under microscope. It has an amorphous elastin and microfibrils. Oxytalin fibers do not have elastic fibers, run axially, and one embedded bone, other end in cementum. Other end in, sorry, blood vessels in PDL. They are seen in teeth which have or which experience heavy loads of mastigatory forces. Reticular fibers are immature fibers and argyrophilic or silver loving uh, entities related to basement membrane of blood vessels and epithelial sects. The secondary fibers are non directional, randomly arranged, newly formed fibers. The ground substance include proteoglycans, glycoproteins, hyaluronase, glycosaminoglycans. In addition, numerous nerves, blood vessels, lymphatics, and semitricles could be seen. This is what part. This we'll see another candidate how he or she has presented. Comprises what tissue? Two mineralized symptom alveolar bone, two fibrous tissue. Periodontal ligament, connective tissue contains numerous blood vessels. A brief diagram, composition, the same thing given in a different form cells extracellular matrix extracellular fibers and ground substance all list has been done then proceeds to de describe the synthetic cells osteoblast bone forming cells osteoblast diagram pdl resorptive cells diagram fibroblast diagrams cementoclast diagrams the same content but the way of presentation slightly matters Principal fibers, the same content, but in a different way of presentation with the diagram. Sharpies fibers, see the highlighting. This has to be underlined. This candidate has avoided abbreviations, uncommon abbreviations. This has to be underlined. It's the same content, but diagrammatic, more informative. Then the functions, sensory, supportive, nutritive, homeostatic, the regions. 
clinical consideration the most important point if thickness varies in different individuals in the different teeth and same person in different location acute trauma to pdl accidental blows rapid mechanical destruction may produce pathological changes such as fracture or resorption of cementum called as cementicle the adjacent alveolar bone is resorbed if the pdl is widened by and the tooth become loose it could be due to a periodontal inflammation called as periodontitis or due to odontogenic infection such as periapical lesion periapical granulomas and this is the end of the essay that is the content side is usually asked for the questions in periodontal ligament stay connected with this channel for another session of one question a day happy learning till then